Good morning. Beautiful overcast day. Nice and cool for a change. We've had some incredibly hot weather lately and that has caused a little bit of a problem for some of the wildlife. Now I'm well aware of the fact that some people don't like wildlife in their house. The trouble is reptiles, lizards, snakes, that sort of thing. When it gets too hot they go into heat stress and they can approach building. They're looking for a nice cool place to survive. Now on the estate we've got a fairly good population of snakes, only two of which are venomous. So generally speaking most of the snakes you see are completely harmless. Like this little spotted scarp sticker here. Okay, it has got a venom but of no consequence to humans. And like all snakes, you'll see I'm handling it calmly, it won't bite me. For the simple reason it's not threatened. Snakes will never attack they will only ever defend. Now, if you think about what a snake sees us humans as, we are massive, we're noisy, and we're an immense threat. The two venomous snakes, the puff adder and the cape cobra, they're the only two you need to worry about medically. They will always warn you they're around. The cobra comes up in that beautiful hood. The puff adder it's called a puff adder because it puffs at you. And basically all they're saying is please go away and leave me alone. Now, rule of thumb, if you do come across a snake, just stand dead still. Let the snake sort out what it wants to do. For the simple reason that a snake's vision is attuned to movement. It's not all that good on stationary objects. So if you're stationary, you become part of the environment, they'll calm down and move off. Puff adders don't really like moving. They're relying on their beautiful camouflage of theirs. So then just back off quietly. If it's in your garden, please phone security straight away. But try and keep an eye on the snake. That way when the capture team comes in, they know where to find it. Too often we're called out for snakes and the snake has disappeared because they're literally running away. They don't want problems. The <coughs> Other point is, although we've never had a snake bite on the estate, never, in the whole time it's been open, if for some obscure reason, and in South Africa, most snake bites come about from people attacking the snake, trying to catch it or kill it. So tr don't do either of those. Please, <coughs> if you are bitten by a snake, don't worry about identifying the snake, killing it or anything like that. What you do is you just get to medical attention. The Cape Cobra and the Puff Adder, it will take a while for the venom to take effect. And by that time in this area, you can get to medical attention, either Provincial or Medicross or one of those. Phone ahead, let them know you're coming in with a snake bite. Do not try home remedies. Don't cut the wound, suck it out, or any, just don't do it. It doesn't help and it actually worsens the problem. The other point is with anti-venom. Anti-venom can be dangerous. If you are allergic to, in any way to horses, anti-venom can kill you. So only trained medical professionals are allowed to administer it. In the 60 odd years I've been working with snakes, A, I've never been bitten by a venomous one, and B, all the snake bite victims I've dealt with have all survived just by getting them to medical attention. The other point is you hear a whole lot of weird stories about snakes. Snakes are just animals. They're just trying to survive like the rest of us. They have a very hard deal because of all these weird stories. Don't listen to nonsense. As I said, no snake will attack you. They will only ever defend themselves. They don't see us as food, so why would they bother? And remember, on TV, all these documentaries you see, they are entertainment, they are not necessarily education. They're there to hype up things. Snakes don't need hyping up, they just need to be left alone. Just as a matter of interest, when we capture venomous snakes, 
We take them up the mountain and release them live. We don't kill snakes around here because we need them for the environment. The non-venomous species are returned into the biocorridor, into the wild, because without snakes we'd be overrun with rats and mice, which we don't need in our lives. So please, just show them the respect they deserve as another living creature, and a very beautiful creature as well, once you get to know them. Now I'm not expecting everybody to love snakes like I do. All I ask is that they're given their place in the world. Okay, I hope that helped. <clears throat> please feel free to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, or if you've got any questions, feel free to put them in and we'll answer them to the best of our ability as always.